Hi everybody, welcome to the Hold Project. Today, uh, this is kind of out of the ordinary, but what I'm going to do is show you how to get uh, grinding dust off your vehicle if you're negligent like me and you have a white vehicle and you've magically turned the front end of it orange. I'll show you. So here's the old white rhino and uh, as we come around the front here you can see what an idiot I am. This is what happens when you grind uh, dead in front of your vehicle and then it rains. So um, I will show you here what products I'm going to use. I've got uh, my pressure washer, foam cannon with the uh, chemical guys, so and then iron remover from Adams. I'm going to try this out here, see if it works. Uh, give it a shot anyway. And I got a couple of buckets here, one of them with a foam pad to do some washing, and then the uh, combustible water here. So we'll go ahead and see what we can do and see if I can't uh, win today. I'm due for a win. So let's, let's go ahead and try this out here. I'll set you up and I'll kind of, kind of show you what, what's going on here. So here we go. So our first step obviously will be to wash the vehicle and um, I think we've all seen people wash vehicles so we can kind of skip that. Well not really skip it but I'll just put you in, in fast motion for that. All right, now that we foam the absolute hell out of it, we'll go ahead and scrub it with the sponge, and then we'll wash it off. Now the moment that I've all been waiting for, I'll give this thing a quick rinse, and then we'll hit it with the Adams iron remover. Now that the vehicle is a new shade of white, clean and moist, we will set you up right here. And we can see if we can't get this to go away. Let's hope. Because I don't want to do any clay barring. Now this stuff says not to let it dry on the vehicle. So that's exactly what we're not going to do. And then we've got to wash it off. Now it says it goes on orange and turns purple. I think since today is hot, uh, we'll do one section at a time. Because it's supposed to be 90 degrees today and like a pro level winner that I am. I waited till the very last minute. Now it's hot. Oh, I can see some action already. Boy, this stuff stinks.
It says to go three to five minutes. Okay, so we used up quite a bit of that bottle. You can see that we're turning purple here. Uh, that's supposed to be the rust coming off. So, since there is a little bit of a breeze, I'm gonna go ahead and power wash this off here. See if we can't get that cleaned off. Well, let's see what we did. Pass number one. This is gonna require multiple passes, but you can tell that we've got, I'd say 60% off. So it's not doing too bad. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get a, uh, use a little elbow grease with this. See if I can't get that all the way off here. All right, guys, so what's our final outcome? Well, I mean, there's a little bit left, but uh, I mean, I wasn't expecting a whole lot. I'm still gonna have to do some clay barring, but uh, I cleaned up good. So in conclusion, I wasn't expecting much. I got a whole bunch more. And I'm satisfied, so I will definitely use that Adams rust removal again. And in no way am I sponsored by them. <laughs> uh, so I just product tryout, I guess, and to correct my uh, ignorance. So I hope you all enjoyed that. I know there wasn't a whole lot to it. It was just a, uh, you know, fun thing to do. I had some time. I got the day off. Car needed a bath. And uh, hope to see you on the next video. Thank you.